So now that I have that you want to download is the Hangbird, not the Hangbird Pro. The Hangbird is the easiest one to control everything. And uh, yeah, we'll go through it. So I already downloaded it, so we're gonna open it. So now you're going to get into that page after you enter your email address and uh, and create a password to do your, your profile. Uh, so, and it's gonna ask you which country you are at and stuff, and it's using uh, GPS to know a little bit where you are, so that's why it's telling me what the temperature outside is right now. Uh, at the bottom here you have home, and then smart if you have more stuff that you're going to connect to here. Shop, because you can go shopping for other Ingberg project and then your profile here and you can add family member to your profile so that they can also see what's happening with the controller in your house uh, because Ingberg's not just making aquarium stuff too they're making lots of other things so anyway you might want to share that with your family uh, all right so now that we're here we're going to need to uh, we're going to need to look up this controller to it so the way you're doing that is you press the plus sign. Now you look for your controller. So the ITC306A is this one at the top. Now it says confirm that the indicator is flashing rapidly, which it is. So we're gonna confirm that. Now it's telling you that uh, Hingbird needs to know the, con the location of this controller. So it's detecting where the Wi-Fi is. So there's a map here, I have it blurry right now, so you guys cannot see it, but uh, so you're gonna allow the, uh, you're going to allow the app to use this. And now it's going to tell you your Wi-Fi uh, name that you have for at home, and then it's asking you underneath to put your password, which you're gonna write your password down. So after you input your password, you're gonna click done. Now it's going to ask you to confirm. So you're gonna click on confirm. Now it's gonna load on and try to detect this unit here okay now that the circle's done turning to initialize all this now you can see that the light here is solid so now you're connecting to your Wi-Fi it shows at the top of your screen here that this is the Wi-Fi the device have been added successfully and then you just have to click done And now you have your <clears throat> now you have your device that you can control in here on your main page in your home. So now if you click on the device, now you guys see the temperature here saying that the device is at 67.7, which is correct, 67.7. And then we have the T1, so temperature number one, the lowest temperature set at 77 and then the t2 uh, maximum temperature 78 uh, but we're going to change that sometime when you connect the app after you if you set it up by end and then you connect the app then it kind of like uh, wipes out your setting that you have in there so now you just have to reset stuff so you just press on the lower setting here want 78 and if you want 78 point something you can add the point something here and then you just click complete oh maybe it, okay it's because I have this one too low so we're gonna bring this that high temperature so setting to at 80 you can write complete it's not showing that the controller now just reprogrammed the self and it's going to turn off the plug when it reaches 80 degrees. So now, because of I changed that, now I can bring this one to 78. 
complete. So now it's gonna turn on the plug when it cools down to 78 and turn off the plug when it goes to 80. I like, cause I, I use this for my trough tank. So I like if the temperature is more stable in my tank. So usually I'll do it to just one degree difference. Okay, so now that we have our two temperature set, uh, we can go into the setting values here. Actually, if you want to change to Celsius, that was there, you had to go first. So here at the top, you can change Fahrenheit or Celsius. I'll keep Fahrenheit. Uh, you can do your temperature calibration if you need to match it with a thermometer and put your temperature up or down a little bit. Uh, now, alarm value, so what uh, what's the alarm that you want now it comes preset with the maximum setting that the controller can deal with so we don't want that there because we're running aquarium with this so we're, we're on fahrenheit you just have to keep going down so it goes to like 212 degree way too high so anyway uh like we were saying earlier, when we set it with the buttons there, we'll do 84. So I want it to send me an alarm if the temperature reach 84. And then I want it to send me an alarm for the low temperature if the temperature reach 74 degrees. Like this, I'll just complete. Now you can hear the alarm going. You can see it's telling me like, hey, like you just said that the lower temperature that you want to, 74 degrees, it's 68.1 right now. If you want your alarm to stop, you can either press the set button on here, or if you're not home and I don't know, maybe you have somebody there that doesn't know how to turn it off or you don't want them to touch it. And you go to power here, press power, press off. It's gonna turn off the app, it turns off the controller, then you put it back on. Now it's gonna show that there's the alarm, but it's it won't uh, it won't beep anymore. And then if you're doing your water change, instead of just disconnecting everything, uh, you know if you're going to expose the ether to the water uh, to the air outside of the water. Then you can uh, just pause the power at the plug by just clicking pause here. And then whenever you're done, then you go back. Now your tank is full. So see it's paused so the screen is green is gray. So now you wanna turn it back. Now it's showing that the it's actually eating up right now. That's why it's it's uh, orange like this. Now we'll go back to setting because when the alarm started, we were not done with all the setting. So I was going to explain to you about the uh, continuous eating. So we talked a little bit earlier about it. So anyway, that's the amount of hours for if your plug stays on and your temperature of your aquarium is not going up for like more than six hours, then it's going to send you an alarm on your phone. So. I would just do like four hours max because I want to know right away. And then if you go back out of here, now we don't have the push notification sent to our phone. That's why the phone wasn't beeping earlier when we had the alarm. So, so we'll press the three bars here at the top. And then here, just do like offline notification. Got it. Then I was just saying, if you don't want an often reminder, it's just going to remind you every 30 minutes, like that your phone won't keep beeping all the time. And then you can check network, check uh, uh, update device. There's no update to do to it. You, know, you can do auto update if you want. And then you can also name your device at the top. So if you have a tank that 
I don't know. I, you know, I'm gonna put that in my Trophius tank so now I can change the name here and right. Oh. Trophius. And then confirm. And now my device name is Trophius. So, you know, if you have multiple tank uh, in your house, then uh, you can have like, you know, you can name your tank or name the kind of fish that you have in there and then you know what that device is for. Okay, so now we're going to get out of there and uh, before we end the video, I'm going to show you another couple of cool thing about this app here. So I'll go back. So now you can see that this is the thing right now because uh, there's the red spot. Um, so now if you go to me at the bottom here, you click on there and then so you can do your uh, nickname if you want to whatever but in the message center that's what I want to show you if you click here there's a red dot right so now it's telling me the temperature alarm is low in the trophius tank so you can go look at it it tells you a time and when that happened so now you can go to set at a setting at the top here at little gear press on here and then uh, you can turn off the notification or add them if you want or you can even put a do not disturb like you know if you don't want the alarm to disturb you during a work hour or whatever or when you're sleeping and you can put the time and date and stuff so like that it won't uh, won't bother you in between those times uh, one time that I think that this would be like very handy. So let's say you're gone on vacation for a couple of weeks or something like that and you have somebody coming at home to feed your fish and then uh, all of a sudden they call you and they say like, hey Ben, uh, I think your fish have hick now. There are tons of white spot on there. Well, you can just, you know, open your app, click on your device here and then change your temperature, like, you know, drop your temperature to 74 or something like that until you come back home or 76 to slow down, so, uh, slow, slow down the hick so it doesn't have time to spread too much and then like that, you don't have a disa the big disaster or lose fish by the time you come home, right? So you could adjust your temperature like that, so that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. So, yeah. Uh, couple little useful uh, useful thing there I don't know if you guys are like technology like that or not or if you like better temperature controller that they're a little bit more like just ends on kind of things there but um, yeah let me know like do you like the uh, the high TC 306 T better or the high TC 306 a um, yeah let me know in the comment below